Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the mission in Carmel. Carmel mission. I take two fingers at the bottom and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line over from left to right. I come in the center and I put three fingers from the top and I put another dot. From that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a straight line down, connect on the left, and a straight line down, connect on the right. I come all the way over to the right hand side. We're going to do some overlaps, so I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line all the way down to that line. And inside, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, connect. Do it again. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. One more. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Inside this space, I'm just going to add some wavy curved lines. That's my vegetation. Now I come over to the left hand side and right about here I put a dot and I draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, keep going, out, in, out, in, connect and I draw a big straight line down and another big straight line down. Then right about here I'm going to put another dot and I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. And another straight line down, straight line down. This will all make sense eventually. Now I come over here on the right. And I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, bam. It crashes into my bushes. I'm just going to leave it alone come back over here and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down. Inside I'm going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, straight line connect. Inside I draw a straight line across and a triangle. I come right above that and I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line, straight line. And in the center of that, I'm going to draw a curved line and then a straight line, straight line. I come back over to my center and now on the left side, I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to draw a straight line down until bam, it crashes into my palm tree and then I am going to draw another straight line across right about there to my archway. Come back over, make this a little bit longer, straight line over, straight line down, bam, it crashes into that and stop. I can add another little straight line right there to make kind of a skinny rectangle and now in here I'm going to go straight line up Curve line over, straight line connect on the left, straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect on the right. Inside, put a straight line and a triangle, straight line and a triangle. Now I come back up above and I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle on top. And right here on the far left, I'm going to draw a curve line straight line connect with a little circle on the left, curve line, straight line, little circle on the right. I'm going to come inside and draw a smaller curve line, straight line, circle on top, curve line, straight line on the right, little circle on top. 
in between I draw a big curve line up over and down connect and I'm just going to draw little straight lines going across and up on the top curve line once little curve line straight line straight line okay I come back down to my center I'm going to draw a little straight line here on the left connect and a little straight line there on the right connect then right starting right about here I draw a big curve line up over connect and right here in the center I'm going to put a dot and from that dot I draw a curve line down on the left curve line down on the right come back to the left draw a little curve line on the left and a little curve line on the right then I draw a straight line out straight line in on the left straight line out straight line in on the right now I draw another curve line on the left another curve line on the right straight line straight line connect okay now right about here I'm going to just going to draw a straight line down straight line across straight line down on top on the left I draw my little curve line straight line with my circle on top on the left little curve line straight line circle on top on the right and now I'm going to draw a straight line across come over here on the left and just draw a straight line out straight diagonal down connect on the left straight line out straight diagonal down on the right now I'm going to draw another straight line down on the left another straight line down on the right in the center finally straight line up curve line over straight line down repeat straight line up curve line down connect straight line in the center little straight lines going across I know this is a lot bear with me okay come back over here by the palm trees right about here we're just going to draw a straight line jump over straight line across and we're going to put little curve lines jump over don't draw through your palm tree come underneath draw little curve lines jump over little curve lines right here I'm going to draw a straight line straight line straight line connect right here straight line straight line straight line connect once more straight line straight line straight line connect right about here I'm going to just going to I'm just going to draw curve lines off the page and then I'm going to come in and do curve up down up down connect vegetation curve up down up down connect however many you can fit in curve line up down up down connect the rest of this is now going to be straight diagonal lines going across keep going straight lines perpendicular to those keep going now we've got enough now we can do a little line in between this is our brickway I think this might be it let's take a look and see yeah I think that's it okay we're ready to color okay this is the oldest mission so it's got some wear and tear on it we're going to start off and use a double color for our stone pathway down here which I used a little bit of pink because why not add some color a little bit of pink and then I used my gray crayon we're going to use a lot of gray on this one because some of the uh, stone work is very weathered looking okay so it probably was a very bright white at some point and now it's kind of gone into a tan gray weathered look so that's going to be all gray then I'm going to do these little 
curved line stoneware again. I'm going to make these gray and I'm going to, I forgot, I'm going, I knew I would forget something. I'm going to add a little curved line down here by my vegetation and make this part gray. So it's got a little stone walkway across the top, I mean across the bottom. Then I come in and I'm going to use my light green on this vegetation, these bushes, and I'm going to use dark green for this section. My palm trees I'm going to make dark green. I'm going to make my bells dark green. You can get in there and get those colors. Okay, now for my actual building. I'm going to use that gray crayon. I'm going to just do a little bit of gray on my edges because like I said this one's kind of weathered. So I'm going to do a little bit of gray. I'm going to use my gray crayon on my arch. A little bit of gray over here on these towers. And then I'm going to come in with a tan or a light brown and just do the edges. I'm not going to color the whole thing. Just the edges of all of these domes and separate pieces that are all surrounding this. I'm going to make my star window. I'm going to use this as a tan color. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my brown. I'm going to use the brown on the door, put a little bit of brown on my bell tower, my put a little bit of brown on my palm trees. Um, Let's use a little bit of my tan back over here on my my other extension, building extension over here. We'll make this a little bit of tan. Color in my windows brown. There's a lot to do here. And let's see what else. This part should be probably be tan also. And my little decorations up here. Okay. Now I'm going to use a different reddish brown for my tile roof over here. And I am going to use blue for my background. You can if you can fit in a little bit of blue on your bell tower, that would be great. This one's pretty intense but it's going to look fabulous. Take your time once it's colored in. Put a little bit of brown down here at the bottom. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's the mission all colored in. It's one of the oldest and one of the finest. Okay, bye bye.